How to use the 2023 recession to build wealth. In the eerie dawn of 2023, the global economy stands on shaky grounds. Imagine high inflation, a hawkish Federal Reserve rising interest rates, and a stock market that's seen better days. It's a financial roller coaster that's left many investors clutching their portfolios with white knuckled uncertainty. As the year unfolds, there is a paradoxical tale taking the shape of one of the world's most brilliant investors defying conventional wisdom. While the masses scramble to exit the market, contrarian giants like Warren Buffett are diving headfirst into the chaos. It's a head scratching move especially considering the flag Buffett received for staying on the sidelines in recent years. But hold on, this isn't an isolated incident. When the financial world plummeted into the depths of the 2020 crash, these super investors were busy buying. Let's rewind to 2008, or even further back to 2001, and you'll find the same pattern once again, buying during economic downturns. So what's the secret sauce that allows these savvy investors to thrive when the world seems to crumble around them? Enter Monish Pabrai, a trusted disciple of Warren Buffett and a man who once paid a jaw-dropping 605000 for lunch with the Oracle of Omaha himself. He's about to reveal the three fundamental rules that have guided these investors through turbulent times. Imagine going against the tide, swimming upstream when everyone else is flowing downstream. That's what contrarian investors like Warren Buffett excel at. They have an uncanny knack for doing the opposite of the crowd, especially when the crowd is panicking. 2022 was a defining year for Buffett. After years of criticism for his seemingly conservative approach, he made a bold move. He poured a substantial chunk of capital into the market, ignoring the naysayers and the market jitters. But this maverick mentality isn't unique to him. Cast your mind back to the financial meltdown of 2008. What were the super investors doing? That's right, buying. And it wasn't a one-time fluke. They did the same thing in the dot-com crash of 2001. This reoccurring pattern of buying during economic crises seems perplexing on the surface. But as Monish Pabrai is about to unveil, there is a method to this madness. Now let's dive into the treasure trove of wisdom Monish Pabrai has to offer. The first of his three golden rules is particularly relevant in times of economic turmoil. Identify companies with a durable competitive advantage. In the world of investing, the first rule for thriving amidst economic uncertainty is as clear as crystal. Identify companies with a durable competitive advantage. In these shaky economic times, this rule becomes even more critical. Consider this scenario. You're in a small English town with no Thai restaurants. Someone seizes the opportunity and opens one up, thriving initially by offering a unique experience. But here's the catch. Capitalism has a way of inviting competition. Soon more Thai restaurants pop up, each trying to outdo the other. The initial advantage of being the sole Thai restaurant dwindles as competition intensifies. Types of moats and their endurance. Moats come in various forms, and understanding their endurance is vital. Brand moats, like Coca-Cola's, are powerful because people are drawn to familiar and trusted names. In turbulent economic times, these businesses thrive because consumers stick to what they know and trust. Louis Vuitton is another example. Despite the quality of its products being debatable, people buy into the brand, design and logo. It's the allure of the label that keeps consumers loyal. Think about it. During financial crunches, people tend to stick with what they're comfortable with. Even if a cheaper alternative exists, they often choose the established brand. It's a behavior that businesses with brand moats capitalize on. Are you ready to unlock the secrets of financial success? Then hit that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our channel for a front row seat to a brighter financial future. But here's the fascinating twist. No moat is eternal. The allure of a brand can fade over time. That's why it's essential to not only identify a moat, but to also monitor its strength as the years roll by. Patience as an investor's edge. As we navigate the intriguing world of successful investing, we come to the second rule. Patience as an investor's edge. Monish Pabrai underscores the importance of a long-term outlook. Imagine a world where you're not pressured to deliver a 20% return by next Tuesday. A world where you can patiently let your investments grow. While the world of finance often revolves around short-term gains and quarterly reports, the most successful investors are those who play the long game. Companies like Amazon understand this concept well. They look beyond the next year or two, focusing on a 5, 7 or even 10-year horizons. 
This long-term perspective isn't just for companies. It's an edge investors can wield as well. As Munish puts it, it's a game of patience and relative inaction. Buy great companies at opportune times, then sit back and wait. It might take a year, three or even five, but the key is to be patient. Time horizon is the secret sauce behind many investment success stories. Jeff Bezos, the visionary behind Amazon, once revealed that his competitors were focused on the next one, two or three years. In contrast, Amazon always looked 10, even 20 years ahead. This longer time horizon gave them a significant edge. This principle applies not just to companies but to investors themselves. The temptation to focus on the next quarter's return can be overwhelming, especially in today's fast-paced financial world. Yet Monish Pabrai reminds us that the real advantage lies in thinking long-term. Index funds, often seen as dumb investors, beat over 90% of active fund managers over time. Why? Because they don't know or care about the next quarter's results. They hold on to companies like Microsoft, Alphabet and Amazon for decades, letting them compound wealth steadily. Holding on to great businesses The final piece of Monish Pabrai's puzzle is simple yet profound. Hold on to great businesses. Once you've found a gem, don't let it slip through your fingers. Resist the urge to cut flowers and water weeds, a common pitfall for many investors. Imagine owning a stake in a company like Ferrari. Thanks to Munish's wisdom, you'll hold on to it for dear life, reaping the rewards as it appreciates over time. Even if it looks optically expensive, the long-term outlook can turn into a phenomenal investment. The principle is about letting the businesses you've chosen do what they're designed to do, compound wealth over time. It's about staying rational and not succumbing to the panic that often plagues short-term thinkers. Lessons from historical mistakes In the pursuit of investment success, even the most seasoned investors can stumble. In this chapter, we'll explore the valuable lessons that can be gleaned from historical mistakes. It's a reminder that no one, not even the great investors like Monish Pabrai, is immune to occasional missteps. Let's imagine once again a scenario where you hold a stake in Ferrari, a company synonymous with luxury and speed. Thanks to Monish's guidance, you've held on to this investment. But here's the twist. Ferrari may have looked optically expensive at times. In retrospective, you realize that if you had kept your position even during those uncertain moments, you'd have multiplied your wealth several times over. Monish shares a sentiment echoed by Charlie Munger. All too soon is too late. The essence of this wisdom is that you should trust in the businesses you've selected and give them the time they need to flourish. This means resisting the temptation to sell prematurely, even when things appear uncertain. As we near the end of our journey through the world of successful investing, it's time to distill the key takeaways from Monish Babrai's investment philosophy. In time of economic turmoil and uncertainty, these principles serve as a beacon of light to guide investors towards financial success. Monish's three fundamental rules have been our roadmap. We've learned the significance of identifying companies with durable competitive advantages, often referred to as moats. These advantages set them apart from competitors and withstand the test of time. Patience, the second rule, is our secret weapon. In a world that often obsesses over short-term gains, we've embraced the power of the long-term perspective. By allowing our investments to grow over time, we unlock the potential for substantial returns. Time Horizon, our third rule, has shown us that thinking beyond the next quarter can be a game-changer. It's not just companies like Amazon that benefit from this approach. Investors who focus on the long-term reap rewards as well. Lastly, we've embraced the wisdom of holding on to great businesses. Akin to a gardener tending to prize flowers, we've learned to nurture our investments, resisting the urge to prematurely cut them loose. In conclusion, the world of investing is not for the faint of heart, especially during turbulent economic times. But armed with the knowledge and principles shared by Monish Pabrai, we are better equipped to navigate these uncertain waters. We understand that investment success often lies in defying conventional wisdom, staying patient and holding on to our chosen gems. And with that, we come to the ending of today's video. If you've enjoyed it, do like it and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Finance Today for a front row seat to unraveling economic insights. Dive into more captivating content by exploring our other videos. Don't forget to press the bell notification icon to never miss an upload from us. And I'll see you in the next one. Until then, I bid you farewell.